Hey guys, this video tutorial is going to be on how you can create rollover images in Adobe Dreamweaver CS3 or CS4. It is really, really simple to do. All you need is a GIF, a PNG, or actually two of those, and they have to be dr different. If you don't really know what I mean by rollover images, is basically for your site you have some navigation buttons, you can click on them, you go to a link or another place on your site or you can just use images for that but now I'm going to show you how you can make sure that when you take a cursor on the picture and you wanna click on it to go to the link it changes to something else to let you know other than by the cursor or the hit cursor or something that you're going to photos or that you're holding on it so I'm actually going to show you how to do this now the first thing you wanna do is have your site open so you will need a file, a HTML file, a PHP file, something that you can really work with, and that you can, um, you know, uh, your your site in well, basically your site. So what you need to do is go on site and new site, and you are going to set up a folder so it's really easy to access everything. Uh, this will be your site name so that you really know which folder you can quickly go to and you have all your site folders so I'll just call it site the, you can put in the address it doesn't really matter uh, I didn't use server technology edit local copies of the machine then upload to server when ready and here it says um, <laughs> where do you want to store uh, your files so I click the folder and I found widget like where I have my index file everything so I clicked select don't select any folder though and now just say none and done now it has created a green folder here and you have images index license photos style CSS I created photos as this is photos so yeah and you have index which is basically your root folder or uh, I mean the root uh, files website so now you are I got this template from free CSS templates I did not create this myself though so now I am just going to in here we want it to be in here we want it to say photos and we'll have the image uh, so then it's really really simple to do so you have to make sure that you have the image inside the images tab I have image 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 and then I have photos spacer and video photos these are the two ones and this is perfect so now we go on insert whoa didn't mean to do that there view zoom out now I can maybe zoom out a bit more nah I'll just zoom in a bit okay now I zoomed out sorry for that mistake now just click somewhere if you want to replace the text you can't really select you can't really uh, just select it and then it replaces it doesn't change at all so now click insert image objects and roll over image and we are just going to call this basically what you wanted to go to I think that's easier to keep track of so now click browse images find the first image and I think it was photos yeah this is the first image we want it to be this image first and then go over to the other one okay browse and video photos another thing I forgot to tell you is the sizes are very 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 important if you have a really big image uh, it doesn't really convert it to a good size it just makes a, a big image and we don't want that we want it to be small and perfect so mess around and dream in uh, Photoshop or Illustrator whatever you might use and just find an image uh, or the find the perfect image size excuse me I'm a bit sick so okay then just click OK you can use alternate text and when click go to URL we'll mess around with that later now okay now we have photos here perfect isn't it and now we are going to just move this a bit around I want it to be after where it says friends. Do I? Do I really want that? Nah, it's okay here. It's okay. I mean, this is a really weird template though. So now you have your um, link here. So this is now the. 
now we want it to link to photos basically so the first thing we want to do is open our properties palette it may be closed in another way than this in um, Dreamweaver CS3 but just click a tab here in CS3 or else just click it like this and you have the ID that's what we just gave it photos and the width and height if it's too big you can always use this but also remember that you want the size to be perfect I mean we don't want the width to be really different from the height or what we set it to so then we wanted to set the link now why I set up the root folder is really really simple I wanted it to be quickly or easily accessed or we want the site to be accessed to all the site files so you have photos.html and you want it to link to that if you don't have another html file right click it and go to new file we will just call this photos to dot html really important if you use php perfect does really matter now i'm actually going to delete it just an example um, and now you want to say where it says link you will have pound or anything just click here where it says point to file you'll have this big pointer looks nice and then you want to go to the local files and find photos now it will say link photos.html you can do that as well or set it a http colon slash slash www dot remember to have that but we'll just say photos dot html now the next thing we will do is hit control and s on our keyboard what that will do is it will make sure that we just saved the whole thing now i'm going to open a firefox window and come to that in google nah i'll open it here and we are going to just click this little globe here and we'll say preview in firefox or f12 it'll say your default browser i'll open up a new tab in here you have all the images and they look great now they have set portfolio to be index.html and pound they set this one well anyway you can see here photos when we select it the inner color changes and the outer color changes which is perfect is just as we wanted it to be this is a how we create a rollover image and let's see if the link worked let's click and we came to an untitled document I made sure that there's nothing on here back and we're back to here and it works we just create a rollover image it takes a bit of time to create and add if you already have some images set up but it's worth it I mean it's really worth your time so thank you very much for watching guys please comment rate and subscribe uh, subscribing would be the best thing to do if you want to support my videos thanks again